Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Life of a Dreamer. My name is Darian Wright. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today's video we're talking all about septum rings. So if you have a septum piercing or you're getting one soon or you just like jewelry, stay tuned. So last year around the middle of the panorama, I was sitting at home bored, of course, and I decided to give myself another piercing. And y'all know I don't mind poking holes in myself for the sake of aesthetics. <laughs> I'll have my curated video slash ear piercing video linked above and down below for you guys so you can check that out. But I decided to give myself a septum piercing or a quarantine piercing as I like to call it because so many people got this piercing, which is perfect because we're wearing masks so no one can really see unless you take your mask off. And depending on the size of the ring that you have, you can flip your piercing up in your nose and no one will even see it unless you like, like this. But yeah, I decided to do that and I don't have a video for you guys because it was kind of spur of the moment and also ended up being a bit of a mess and I'll save you guys the details <laughs> but it turned out great as you can tell I've had it for like over six months now and I love it it's like one of my favorite piercings but I have some jewelry to show you guys so I thought I'd put it all together in a video so let's check it out so the most common gauge sizes that I've seen for septum piercings have been 14 16 and 18 and when I decided to pierce my own septum I went with the 16 gauge just because 14 seemed really big and it really scared me 18 seemed a bit thin so I thought it'd be safer to go on the middle side and just do a 16 gauge most of my jewelry is 16 gauge but I have a few 18 gauge of course I'll let you guys know which one is which I'll have everything linked down in the description so you can check it out First, we're gonna start off with the gold pieces because those are the ones I started off with. But then we're gonna get into the titanium pieces that bodyj4u.com sent over to me to try out and show you guys, and I love them so much. So first, we're gonna get into the ones that I found on my own, and then we'll get into the body j for you ones. So we might as well start with the one that's in my nose right now. This little baby is so cute. It's one of my favorites, but it's so hard to get in and out because it's so tiny. This little ball just jumps out of my hand and I'm always looking for it. It's super, super tiny. This type of ring is called a circular barbell or a horseshoe ring. Um, it's just the curved one with the two little dots at the end and you just screw in the little dot. I think, don't quote me, but I think this size is eight millimeters and you guys will see the difference when I show the different rings. Um, and it's just a gold one. It's really cute. Uh, most of my jewelry is like gold. Like I'm obsessed with gold because it looks really good on my skin tone. So of course the ones I chose first were gold. But yeah, it's just, it's really cute. And this one's so small that I can't flip it up into my nose because it's just like really tiny. It's not gonna like open up wide enough to like go in there. But it's one of my favorites. It's just cute. It just sits there. It kind of moves around, but I don't know. This is, I just love it. Next, this is a piercing that I started with. This one I think is 10 millimeters and it's a little bit bigger for that reason. Anytime you get a piercing or anyone who's gonna pierce you is gonna tell you that they're gonna use a little bit of a bigger ring or like wider ring because of course when you get a piercing, you're gonna be swollen and you don't want a tight ring for any kind of piercing to be on that area because that's gonna really be bad for the healing process. You want the piercing to have some way to move and of course you need to be able to like move around and clean around it. So I use this bigger piercing like I said, I think 10 millimeters. Um, and this is the one I can actually turn up into my nose. It's going to look a little bit disgusting for a second, but I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Um, basically, you just want to get it in the middle, but I also kind of push it a little to one side. Uh, it doesn't matter which side. It just kind of helps it get in a little bit easier. So it's kind of a little bit off balance, but you can see it's still in the middle. And all you're going to do is just push it up. <laughs> so it disappears you know if I'm having an audition or I just don't want it to be seen in pictures or videos or anything like that instead of taking it out and letting that hose close up because it will close really fast I can just push that up and then I can just pull it out sorry guys it looks so disgusting when I do this <laughs> I hate to do it in person because people it just looks like you're digging in your nose but you're really not <laughs> so yeah this is like 10 millimeters it's also the horseshoe ring or the circular barbell um and this and the small one that I just showed you guys is actually um surgical steel I think like gold plated I don't think it's gold plated but it's like surgical steel it's not gonna tarnish I use mostly surgical steel on all of my piercings because my skin is sensitive and I don't want it to like break out with like cheap metals or anything like that. Even though surgical steel is pretty cheap, it's a good quality metal. So yeah, this is my bigger one. I don't wear it often and it tickles a lot. Like I can, when I shake my head, I can feel it moving and it like moves around a lot, which kind of gets on my nerves. So that's why I don't wear it often, but I do like the way it looks. It hangs out a little bit longer. It's a little bit more rebel-y. <laughs> but yeah, this is the one I started off with. 
Next, this is my segment ring, or some people just call them hoops. This is an eight millimeter as well, I think. Still 16 gauge, um, surgical steel, gold plated or not, I'm not sure, it's just gold. <laughs> and this is the one y'all mostly see me wear. I think it's just so chic and so cute and just like it fits with anything. And a lot of people barely even notice it's there. Um, I think it just goes like really nice with my jewelry and my skin tone. So I often wear this one. Um, and this is, like I said, just a little hoop, little segment ring. And it's just so cute. It just like snaps in. And also I have, I have some of these in my ear. So that's really cool. Um, if you get a big enough size or depending on where your piercing is, you can wear these segment rings in your ears as well, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, this is just a gold one. I think it's super cute, super chic. It's kind of like low, you know, it's just like, it's just kind of there, but it's not like drawing so much attention to yourself, but it's like, I'm here, I'm cool. I'm just laying back. <laughs> so yeah, this is my little baby. I love this one. And now we're gonna get into the segment rings that bodyj4u.com sent me to try out. This is the eight millimeter segment ring. It's just like my gold one, super cute, super simple. And I like that it kind of goes with my nose ring, even though the rest of my stuff is silver. I have like kind of some shiny, so it works perfectly. I don't feel weird wearing like all this gold colored jewelry with this silver segment ring. It still works out like really nice. And it's just simple, you know, um, silver jewelry. You always need a silver piece in your collection. So I really like it. And next is the 10 millimeter segment ring. I think this is super dope. I don't have a gold one like this. So I love the way it looks. It's bigger, but like it works. I love it so much. It's like, it's there, but it's not. And like I said, just like with the other one, it works with my gold jewelry. It's not too much of a contrast. I really love the way this looks. It, and it's probably gonna be the one that the older people say it looks like a bull ring or whatever like that. So I'm probably gonna get called out for that, but I love it. It looks so nice. Okay, I had to cover this one before I showed you guys because I have to say that these last two are my absolute favorite. They are just so cool, but now I'm just gonna shut up and show you. So this one is a 16 gauge. I think it's 10 millimeters as well. And it's so cute. It has like these little rhinestones and then these little like titanium balls that kind of like line under it. You guys can see, I hope you guys can see that. It's so cute. This is not something I'd normally wear, but I am obsessed with it. It's giving me like, festival vibes very like tribal very like earthy boho girl i love this one and it's crazy because it's not something i would have like i mean it's shiny so i love me some shiny but i don't know if i would like pick this one out for me but i'm so glad i did because i love it it's like there like in your face but like still chic <laughs> i'm obsessed with this one as you guys can tell and lastly, this little baby, little eight millimeter. It's so cute. It's just stylish and chic. It's probably gonna become my everyday wear one. Y'all know I love a little bit of shine. It has the little rhinestones in it. Um, I think I said it's eight millimeter, 16 gauge. I love it. It just has enough shine to like match my earrings and everything, but it's still not like in your face, like, ah, uh, but it's cute. It's there, you notice it. Adds a little sparkle to my face. I love this one. So now I'm gonna show y'all how I clean and take care of my jewelry and my piercings. First things first, before anything, you're gonna wanna make sure your hands are clean before you touch your piercing, new or old, and your jewelry. I also like to take at least 70% isopropyl alcohol and soak my rings in those for a few minutes just to make sure we get all the germs off. And then I'm just gonna dry them and make sure they're good and dry. And now I'm gonna clean my actual piercing before I put in my new rings. Body j for You sent their aftercare piercing solution and y'all, this smells so good. I'm just gonna spray that on a couple Q-tips and clean my piercing. This is made with purified water, Mediterranean sea salt, dead sea salt, tea tree oil, aloe vera, rosemary oil, and vitamin E. Those are all amazing ingredients to heal a piercing and keep it clean. And now I'm just ready to put in my new ring. So that is it y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked down below in the description bar for you guys to check everything out. Definitely check out bodyj4u.com. They have so many more things on their website and everything is super reasonably priced. So definitely check them out. Let me know in the comments which one is y'all's favorite. Y'all know which ones I love. Well, honestly, I pretty much like all of them. I'm gonna be switching my rings out a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Share this video with someone who has a septum piercing or is thinking about getting one or just need some new jewelry thumbs up this video because it really helps my channel out and if you like what you saw don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video as usual i will have so many more videos coming for you guys thank you guys so so much for tuning in because your views and your likes and your shares are
are really helping my channel out and we're just growing here so many more dreamers are coming aboard so thank you guys so so much don't forget to follow me on my social media check me out i do some things over there too and i love talking to you guys and reaching out to you guys and everything like that on my social media so definitely check me out over there thank you guys so so much for tuning in and stay tuned for the next one bye